Hello, my name is Ilan Samson. I am a physicist, but I use the physics for an occupation which is not very common. I'm a full-time inventor. Science, uh, usually I find that children, uh, and young people, they are very interested to know how things work. But the problem is the moment it gets mathematical, they run away because they are afraid of the mathematics. And that uh, hurts, in the end, the progress in technology. Uh, anybody can. The only difference with gifted children is that they can figure things out on their own very often, whereas the others need to be uh, need the correct kind of teaching, which means mainly to explain things which they are shown how to do, and more important, more importantly, for the teaching to induce the students to think for themselves. Uh, when I was at school, uh, especially in early ages, I must say that I found nearly everything we were doing boring, and I was very bad at it. I never got good marks. The only thing which I found interesting was mathematics because there I found it helps if one thinks on one's own. All the other subjects, one was simply told things that is so, that is so. There was no scope for thinking and not even for much understanding. But in mathematics there was an, an ability to participate oneself and I found that interesting and that, that's the only subject I liked. For example, every product that I invent uh, of course, has to be strong enough. Anything that one builds has to be strong enough. And the question is, how much material do we need to make it as strong as necessary? Because we don't want to waste material. So, for example, if we have a rod, and we find that the rod is... We tried something out, we made it 10 millimeters, say, and we find it is not strong enough. We want to make it twice as strong. The question is, how much thicker do we have to make it? How much do we have to increase the diameter for the rod to be twice as strong? Does the rod have to be twice as thick? No. The relationship between strength and thickness is the thickness to the power of four. That means if we make the rod twice as thick, the strength will be 2 to the power of 4. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 16. So if you make a rod twice as thick, it will be 16 times stronger. But if you want it to be only twice as strong, then the thickness will be the fourth root of 2, Yes, we want a number which, if we raise it to the power of 4, the result will be 2. Now, what number, if we multiply 4 of them by each other, yes, will give 2? It happens to be 1.19. 1.19 times 1.19 times 1.19 times 1.19 is 2. Therefore, uh, the rod, which will be twice as thick, needs to be only, if, if originally it was, say, 10 centimeters, it only needs to be another 1.9 centimeter, yes, or 19% thicker. Now, there is one more thing which we must remember. Why is this the fourth power? That we learn in physics. And you would want to find out. Way to prepare yourself is to regard the topics that you do at school 
as if these are things that you need to invent yourself. So when it comes to how to solve a quadratic equation, yes? What would you have done if first time you see an equation with not just x's and numbers, but also x squared? What would you do on your own? If you don't approach the school topics from that point of view, whether teachers tell you to do so or not, yes, you will not be prepared to develop things on your own. And when you do that, sometimes in the beginning it looks, well, it's impossible, or well, what would I do? But if one starts thinking a little bit using very simple, commonsensical uh, methods, there, there are lots of commonsensical ways in which one can develop uh, uh, things on one's own. And once one starts doing it, it is great fun. It's very enjoyable. If you notice, understanding is enjoyable. Yes, whenever we come to this ah moment, we, we enjoy it. Probably the brain evolved in this way. Si te gustó, te sirvió y le entendiste a lo que acabas de ver, danos un like. Y suscríbete a este canal para más videos de math2me.com.